Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make a really easy countdown for your church right inside of After Effects. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a new composition. I'm gonna do 4K, 23.976, and then I'm gonna make this five minutes and maybe three seconds. I like to add a little time on the back end uh, just in case, and I can just make the background color maybe black and then hit, okay. And then I'm gonna go in and make a new text layer and we don't have to type anything in, but what I'm actually gonna do to make this countdown is go into chat GPT and ask it to make me an expression for a type layer to make a five minute countdown. So I'm gonna pull up chat GPT and say, make an expression for After Effects for a five minute countdown. And then it's just gonna go ahead and read out some instructions and also generate the actual code to bring into After Effects and make a five minute countdown. And a lot of this you don't really have to worry about. It'll tell you the format, minutes, seconds, which is what we want. And so I'm just gonna hit copy code. And then how to do this is we um, come into our text layer, go into source text, and then I need to option click on the stopwatch in source text. And then I'm just gonna paste our expression right into there click out of it and then boom, we have our five minute countdown. And this actually adjusts to the uh, duration, as it said, of the composition. And this goes into negative numbers, but we can fix that later. The one thing that I really don't like about this is I don't like this extra zero. If we had a 10 minute countdown, um, that'd be fine. But uh, this is just gonna be a five minute countdown. So um, I'd like to take off that extra zero. But the great part about this is you don't have to know really a lot about expressions for this. So you could go in here and actually customize it and take off the zero. But even if you don't know a lot about expressions or don't want to deal with that, you can follow up and say maybe something like, can you make it in the format of zero colon zero zero instead of zero zero? and then it'll go ahead and generate a modified expression and that looks right. Let me go ahead and copy it and then I'll just replace it down here and hit okay and then boom, yeah, easy. So that's awesome, I love that it. it's just natural language, the tools that we have nowadays with AI is just incredible. Uh, so I'll go ahead and collapse that text layer and that's pretty easy right there. Let me go ahead and center that one more time. I think it got off and then I'll uh, center align the text and you can go ahead and choose whatever font you want. I'll make it uh, this one, New Haas, um, bold or black. That looks pretty cool. Make it a little smaller. Cool. And then this is the transparency grid. You can toggle this to see the background's actually transparent. It's not actually black. So even from this right here, like you can go ahead and export this as transparent and drop that into ProPresenter over motion backgrounds um, or anything else like photos, you know, whatever you want. And so this right here provides you a great template to go ahead and export this and then bring this into uh, DaVinci Resolve or Premiere Pro or whatever if you want to put um, this over B-roll, which is a great um, easy countdown to make for your church. But what I'm actually gonna show today is utilizing one of our uh, previous tutorials that we walked through, which was how to make custom motion backgrounds for your church. Um, I'll link it here and in the, in the description if you missed that. But this is the first one we made. It's a great stained glass gradient motion background that just kind of moves. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring this in and I can drop it right below our countdown and I mean, that's great. You wouldn't really even have to do a whole lot to that. I think it looks really cool, clean. Um, but obviously, as you can see, there's ton of, tons of customization you can do to make this countdown fit for your specific church. For the sake of this video, um, I'm gonna show you actually another way you can use in After Effects to make a countdown, again, with no external plugins, but this time uh, not utilizing expressions. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a new composition and leave everything the same as our previous one. And then I'm gonna make a new solid and hit okay. And I'm gonna add the numbers effect to it. And then we can go ahead and change our font in here. Yep, to black. And then I wanna center align this horizontal, that's okay. And then I wanna change the fill color to white. And then this might throw you off initially because you can zoom in and this is just 
basically numbers. That's all it is. But this effect actually has a lot of options in it you can use. Um, it's pretty versatile. I've used it for a lot of different things. So what I'm going to go in and select time code, uh, 24 frames per second, because that's what our timeline is. And it'll show a lot more numbers. So I'm going to change the decimal places to zero. And then let's go ahead and just bring the size up so we can see it a little better. And then you can see as I play this, it's moving pretty fast. And the problem is it's um, actually adjusting the time and the letters aren't proportional. So it's going to have some spacing issues, but it actually gives us this option to add proportional spacing over here. And that's going to kind of look like this. But again, you can see the numbers are squished together too much. So we have to bring the tracking out and that's spaced a little too far. So again, that, I like using the expression a little more. I think it's just easier. Now, a quick solution to this would be to use a monospaced font, some font that each character in each number is equally spaced and it won't um, adjust as the numbers change or as it counts down. Um, but this is another option. I've used this before in the past and it's, it's not crazy. It just takes a little more time. So essentially what I would do is pre-compose this and move all the attributes into that new composition. So now in our second countdown, there's no effects on this layer. It's inside the new composition. And then what I would do is just make a rectangle mask and I would just mask out these letters and then duplicate this and move the mask over and mask out the other letters. And then what this allows you to do is move the position of each set's set of letters. So I know this isn't the most intuitive, but I did wanna give just another way that you can customize this and make countdowns for your church. You have the option of expressions or using this uh, numbers effect. Now, one thing I forgot to mention with using the numbers effect is it is counting up. So what you will have to do is um, time reverse the layer. So it actually starts at the highest and then uh, counts down. And then the last thing with this countdown, I, like I mentioned at the very beginning, it goes into negative numbers and that's super easy to solve. So all we're gonna do is just zoom in and cut the layer off to where it says zero, which is right about there. And then I'm gonna go in and pre-compose this layer and adjust the composition duration to that time span. So it stops when it says zero, essentially. Perfect. And then all we have to do is right click, go to time and freeze on last frame. So that way it still counts down perfectly, but then on that last frame, it just stays at zero, super easy. Cool, and then the very last thing I wanna talk about for this tutorial is exporting. So you can go through any of the typical export presets if you already have a background in here, like this motion background. But if I delete that and I actually want it to be transparent in the background and I wanna use this for future use, all I have to do is go up to file and go to export and add to render queue. And then I'm gonna select my output module here and just select high quality with alpha. Then if I click into it to see more options, I can see that's a ProRes 4444 and it's an RGB plus alpha, which is exactly what we want and a quick time so it'll play in anything. And audio output auto, so it'll add audio if there is. Um, you can just turn that off so it doesn't have any audio track attached to it. And then all you have to do is select an output, hit save and then render and you'll be good to go. So that's two quick ways to create custom countdowns in After Effects, either with backgrounds or as a template for future videos. So as always, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for future videos, let me know in the comments and I'll see you next time.